Hi there and welcome to Fabrizio's Kitchen. One of the questions I usually get asked from my customers is how to best clean the Thermomix mixing bowl. Now if you're a TM5 or a TM6 user, you know that you have access to the pre-clean function directly from your Thermomix's touch screen. The pre-clean function gives you about four settings to choose from and is very effective when it comes to cleaning the mixing bowl, especially in between um, recipes. Um, today I'm going to show you another remedy which I usually use once a week uh, for my TM6 uh, bowl. As you can see, I made some uh, uh, cooking last night. Uh, I did some onion browning and the base of my mixing bowl um, is still a bit um, brown. So what I usually do um, is uh, to reserve uh, eggshells and um, a lemon uh, throughout the week and keep them in a freezer bag in the fridge. And then at the end of the week, on um, the weekend, uh, possibly Saturday, um, I treat my uh, Thermomix bowl to what I call a spa uh, treatment. Let me show you. Okay, so here we are. I've got my Thermomix. My Thermomix bowl, as you can see, is still dirty. And here's my bag um, where I've saved all the eggshells and lemons I've used throughout the week. Okay, so I'm going to put those in the Thermomix bowl. Then the lid and measuring cup go on. And then I set manually five seconds, um, speed eight. You can see in just five seconds I've got this beautiful um, scrub, that's what I call it. Uh, the eggshells will be scrubbing the bottom of the Thermomix bowl for me and the lemon will give a beautiful, uh, nice and refreshing um, smell. Okay. So there's a bit of eggshells here, we want to add those two. What I do now is to just add some water, just enough to cover the blades and the scrub mixture. Okay. And then we put the lid back on and set uh, the time for about um, 30 minutes or even less if it's not too dirty. But 30 minutes, uh, temperature will be 50 and the speed will be 1. And here we are, 30 minutes later. Let's see. Okay, so you can see that we've got sort of a paste uh, made of eggshells and um, lemon. So I'm just going to decant that away. So as you can see, most of it is already gone. And I'm just going to get rid of the last bit. And then we'll give a quick rinse and there you go. All the dirt that was at the bottom of the mixing bowl has gone. Now I can just give a nice rinse under the tap and my mixing bowl will be ready to go.